Hello, hello. This is Gary here, Sunfire Plumbing. And we are here at Carol's house and we have a solar hot water radiant heating system. And it is a cluster. We've got an independent energy controller that supposedly controls the zones. We've got a relay box up here that activates our zone valves here. And three thermostats back up in there. We've got a pump that pulls the... I'm not exactly what sure it does. It pulls it from the water heater. That pipe goes around and goes into our water heater pipe here. I can get that. It's a bit of a cluster, quite a cluster. So we've got four pumps in the system. Here's the radiant pump. And that is controlled there by that relay. We've got a solar pump station here from Heliodyne with two pumps and their tube and shell heat exchanger. So we've got three controllers, one relay, and this C100 has gone bad. It's not even lit up. It could be a fuse. I've got a faulty zoom valve head that gave up. If we look closely, we see some good buildup in these flow meters. I'm not sure. A lot of calcium. A lot of calcium in the water. Somebody came in and did some new press fit work. Redid this whole thing. Didn't bother to strap it. So anyway, I'm wondering how to control this. This C100 that apparently controls the solar, so basically the solar heats the tank. So the solar heats the tank and then that water goes out right to the heat loop open. Now I don't know what heat loop means because there's our radiant loop. I have no idea what the heat loop is. And they had a sensor strapped to this T and P pipe. And then they have a sensor down on the bottom of the water heater. So they're sensing the top and bottom temperatures. Anyway, it's just a heck of a mess. I'm trying to figure out, and they've got a sensor here. So basically the hot water heater, this big, what do we got? Uh, gallonage, where's your gallonage? It's here somewhere. Can I see it? I'll look at that in a minute. Okay, where's my gallonage? Why can't I see that? Anyway, I'm going to say it's 120. American Proline. So this is our backup. Uh, I've got to study this. This is really confusing. Somebody's had a heck of a time with this thing. And so that pump there pulls the heat off of the water heater. That's the lower T there. Pulls it. And let's see, basically it goes through the heat exchanger pushes it through that heat exchanger there and then back out and lots of the guy could have used two nineties on this but he used five so it returns it on that T back in there to that solar to water heater pipe so it circulates it through the heat exchanger and then of course pulls it off of the heat exchanger DHW out DHW in 
that's good and hot wool and then radiant in nice and cool radiant out comes here to our mixing valve see what that says I don't know if we can see that it's only about 90 only going out about 90 degrees and that's not much to heat a floor so I have no idea how to control this I, I'm wondering about a standard zone control but I've got to configure the DHW with that controller up there I'm not sure which controller controls the DHW this system here this is its wire here it's not even active for anything so it's almost like it's been discontinued so I don't know it's just a mellow of a S so more tomorrow.